the plant absorbs carbon dioxide from the air through its leaves through these tiny little pores called stomata. Stomata is surrounded, like you can see, by guard cells. The water, vitamins and minerals required as raw material are absorbed by the roots and is then transported from the roots through the stems to its branches and finally to the leaves where most plants carry out this process of making the food or the process of photosynthesis. Now, if you're given only egg and cheese, you would have a hard time making an omelet without the pan, flame and spatula, right? Especially if you're not given the flame, the egg would never cook, right? The same goes for photosynthesis. Having carbon dioxide and water alone is not enough. The sunlight, the energy source for this process is also important. Now we can go microscopic. Let's start looking at the cellular level. Let's follow the carbon dioxide molecule through the stomata and see where it goes. Mr. Vinian is going to help me out here. Now we are entering the plant cell. What you see here is the cell wall. Go slightly inside, there you see the cell membrane, which encloses all the contents of the cell. This makes sure that the contents of the cell don't spill out. Aha, now we have just entered into the cell. There's the nucleus. Remember the headmaster that we just spoke about? That's the nucleus. And now, do you see the jelly-like substance surrounding all the cell contents? This is the cytoplasm. And finally, what's that small little green thing that I see? Ah, oh, that's the chloroplast. This chloroplast has a green pigment inside called the chlorophyll. This is our main character. Extremely important. How important do you think James Bond is to a James Bond movie? Pretty much that important is chlorophyll to a chloroplast. Chlorophyll is the reason why most of the plants that you see around are green in color. Thank you, Vinian, for getting into the cell and helping us understand all the parts of the cell. I will take it over from here. In fact, let me now allow the chlorophyll to talk to you. I am a miracle molecule who is fantastic at absorbing light. My talent might even make me the single most important chemical on the planet. I drink in energy from the sun and use it to power the production of sugar, food for a plant and ultimately for all things on earth. And if that isn't enough, this process called photosynthesis also produces the oxygen that all animals breathe and that sucks up the nasty greenhouse gas, carbon dioxide. I put the green in greenery. I live inside chloroplasts, tiny little green blobs rammed inside the cells of a leaf. 